welcome back to my channel. Our most essential learning competency is solving situational problems involving hyperbola. Example 1. Find the equation of the hyperbola whose center is negative 3, negative 2 and whose oblique asymptotes are the lines 10y plus 9x plus 47 equals 0 and 10y minus 9x minus 7 equals 0. So, let us illustrate first the problem. It's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So, this one is your center. We do not know yet the transverse axis, whether it is, of course, parallel to the x or parallel to the y. But we can determine it by, of course, graphing the two equations. So, we have 10y plus 9x plus 47 equals 0. And the other one is 10y minus 9x minus 7 equals 0. Okay. So, I will be using, of course, finding the x and the y-intercept. If x is 0 and if y is 0. Here in equation 1, that is 10 y plus 9 times 0 is equal to negative 47. So, this one is 0, of course. 10y is equal to negative 47 over 10. So, y is equal to negative 4.7. So, it's negative 4.7. Now, what about, of course, the x? So, 10y plus 9x plus 47 equals 0. So, this one is 10 times 0 plus 9x equals negative 47. So, 9x is equal to negative 47 divided by 9, divided by 9, x is equal to negative, this is 5 and 2, 7. So, it's negative 2 or 5 and 2 over 7. What about, of course, our next equation? Let's find the x and the y-intercept. So, our second equation, this is x, y. 0, 0. So, if we let this one as x, this is 10y minus 9 times 0 is equal to 7. This one is over 10 over 10. So, y is equal to 7 over 10. It's 7 over 10. If y is 0, that will be 10 times 0 minus 9x equals 7. This will be negative 9x equals 7 over negative 9 over negative 9. So this is negative 7 over 9. I have already plotted this points and this one represents this line whose equation is this. And this one represents this line whose equation is this. We know already the center and we are certain that the transverse axis is parallel to the y-axis. And we have this formula. Now, how, how are we going to solve for the A and for the B? To solve for the A and for the B, we need to consider the formula in finding, of course, the oblique asymptotes of a hyperbola parallel whose transverse axis is parallel to the Y. So, we have B, Y minus K, plus and minus A, x minus h is equal to 0. So, you have here b. Since we have k, we have y. Our k is, of course, our center is negative 3, negative 2. Minus negative 2 plus minus a x minus negative 3 is equal to 0. Okay. We know that this one is equivalent to this one. And the negative is equivalent to that one. So, meaning we have b, y plus 2, plus a, x plus 3, equals 10y, 
plus 9x plus 47. For the second one, we have b, y plus 2 minus a, x plus 3. This time, we will be getting, of course, the minus. That is 10y minus 9x minus 7. We produce two equations here. We have by plus 2b plus ax plus 3a is equal to 10y plus 9y plus 47. And the other one, we have by plus 2b minus ax minus 3a equals 10y minus 9x, sorry, this one is x, minus 7. Okay. Let us now add the two linear system of linear equations. So we can cancel this, cancel this, and cancel this one. So this is now 2by plus 4b is equal to, this is 20y plus 40. Okay, so our aim here is of course to solve for the b. So let us isolate now the b, you have 2b. This is y plus 2. This one is 20. This is y plus 2. You divide both by y plus 2. y plus 2. Okay, so this is 2b is equal to 20. You divide both by 2. Our b here is equal to 10. So we have the center now and of course the b. We need to find, of course, the Let us now solve for the a. So we have here 10, y plus 2, plus a, x plus 3 is equal to 10y plus 9x plus 47. I just used the first equation. So this is 10y, 10 1 dt y plus 2, plus a quantity x plus 3 meaning to say if we'll expand this this one is 10y plus 20 so if we we'll represent it this one is 10y plus 20 okay so i have already gotten of course the 20 here what is left it's 9x plus 27 i can now express this into this form so this is plus a x plus 3 so this one is, of course, 10y plus 20. This is 9x plus 3. How can, I can now therefore conclude that our a is, of course, equal to 9. Because of this, b, y plus 2, plus a, x plus 3. This is uh, 10 y plus 2 and then plus a or 9 x plus 3 okay so they are the same now so this one is for this and this one is for this one so therefore our b is 10 and our a is 9 okay so we can now solve for the, for the equation now of the hyperbola we have here y minus negative 2 over 9 squared minus x minus negative 3 over 10 squared is equal to 1. So we have y plus 2, 81, x plus 3, 100 equals 1. This is already the standard form of the equation of the hyperbola. But what if we are asked to find, of course, the general? So let's expand this by getting the LCD. The LCD is 8,100. 81 times 100. So this is now 100. This is y plus 2 minus 81 x plus 3 
is equal to 8,100. Okay. So, this is now 100. Y squared plus 2Y plus 4. Minus 81. X squared plus 6X plus 9. Equals 8,100. So, this is now 100. Y squared plus 200. Y plus 400. Minus 81X squared. Minus, this one is 6. 486X. Minus 729 equals 8,100. Okay. So, how are we going to simplify it? This is 100 y squared minus 81 x squared plus 200 y minus 486 x. So, this is 729, 81, and 400. So, we have 2, negative 729, plus 400. This one is 9, this is 2, 3. So, we have negative 729, a negative 329. So, that is negative 329 minus 8,100. So, this is 9, 2, 4, 8. So, we have negative 8, 4, 2, 9 equals 0. That's it. Example number 2. Find the general equation of a hyperbola whose foci at negative 3, 5 and 9, 5 and conjugate axis of length 8. So, we have here negative 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we have 9, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 5. Okay, so these are the foci. Meaning to say, our transverse axis is parallel to the x. So, we have the formula x minus a squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to, of course, 1. How are we going to solve for the a, for the b, and for the c? We do not have the center yet. So we can find the center by, of course, using the midpoint formula. So... We have to find it. The H, we have to add the two X's. And then divide it by 2. So we have 6 over 2. H is 3. Then we have to solve for the K. Adding the two Y's. This one is equal to 10 over 2. K is equal to 5. Okay, so our center is a point three five three five one two three and then five okay it's here somewhere here now how are we going to solve for the a for the b and for the c we actually know already the length of the conjugate axis which is a and that is represented by of course two b half of it is of course four okay because conjugate axis, the length of the whole conjugate axis is A. You divide it by 2, that will be, of course, our B. How are we going to solve for our A now since we need it in our equation? Remember that A represents the length from the center going to the vertices. But we do not have vertex yet. But in this case, we have the formula for C, that is C squared plus A squared plus B squared. So we have A squared, which is unknown. Our B is 4. Our C is, of course, what is our C? Our C is the length from the center to the focus. Let's find it first using, of course, our distance formula. 
So we have one of the foci. Let's use it. Our center is 3, 5. So we have 3 minus negative 3 plus 5 minus 5. So our C then is equal to square root of 6 squared plus 0. So our C is 6. Our C is 6. Okay, so this is now 6 squared is equal to A squared plus 4 squared. So we can now solve for the A and our A here is, this one is 36, this one is 16. So we have 36 minus 16 is equal to A squared. This is 20. So our A is equivalent to, of course, to square root of 5. Okay, so that is our A. We can now find the general equation of the hyperbola since we already have the B, the A, and the center. So we have x minus 3 over 2 square root of 5 minus y minus 5 over 4 squared is equal to 1. So you have x minus 3 squared over 20 minus y minus 5 squared over 16 is equal to 1. Find the LCD. Our LCD here is 80. So 80 divided by 20 is 4. And then 80 divided by 16 is 5 is equal to 80. So, actually, this one is already your standard form of the equation of the hyperbola. We are looking for the general. That's why we are expanding it. This is 4. X squared minus 6X plus 9 minus 5. Y squared minus 10Y plus 25 equals 80. So, this is 4X squared minus 24X plus 36. 5y squared plus 50y minus 1 to 5 is equal to 80. Simplifying okay. it, we have 4x squared minus 5y squared minus 24x plus 50y. This is positive 36, negative 1 to 5. We have here... 15, 6, 9, this one is 11, 3, that is 8, negative. And then we transpose the 80 there, that will be negative 1, 6, 9. So this is 1, 6, 9 equals 0. <laughs>